All right. High temperature today in Grand Junction, 45. You see our average is supposed to be in the low 40s. So we're there. And we're pretty close in the morning temperatures as well. 18 this morning, 22 is the average. We're getting better with each and every forecast day. Also, Montrose today, really good. Compared to yesterday, we were, um, well, first of all, we had a really enjoyable Sunday for many locations. 39 was our high temperature in Montrose yesterday. So improvements, that's going to continue through this forecast period. Good 47 in Delta today, 27 for Gunnison. A uh, bit of a cold start at Gunnison with minus 12. And um, Montrose, we do have improvements for our low temperature tomorrow morning. So that is something to look forward to. We're going to keep working on these temperatures all throughout this forecast period. Many of us uh, are going to be experiencing quite the warm up over the course of this work week. Current temperatures right now, um, a bit of a cold night out there. There's not much wind. There's really little to, to anything up in the sky right now. Certainly not cloud coverage, but once we get into Tuesday night, we'll start to see thin high clouds on the increase. I, I don't think you'll notice it. Did you notice any of the clouds over the weekend? Probably not. That bluebird sky was, was the dominant weather feature, uh, though there were, if you look, there were some clouds to our north over the Rhone and clouds to our east over the mountain zones. Top wind gusts of the day for Grand Junction, right around 14 miles per hour. 10 to 15 maximum. We're, we're not really expecting a whole lot of wind, though if you find yourself at Rabbit Ears Pass uh, by Wednesday, you're going to encounter some breezy conditions because uh, we have a, a, a storm system that's moving through. It's not strong enough to trigger any weather alerts, uh, but this is primarily going to be for the northern mountain zones and the front range. So Steamboat Springs, Winter Park, Eldora, the front range mountain zones. Anything that's uh, north of the Rampart Range is going to experience some snow. So if you're traveling I-70 midweek to the Front Range, you should expect some delays and some winter weather. It's because we have a high-pressure system over the western third of the United States. It's doing its thing, the same thing it's been doing since January 1. Well, the first week of January at least. It's deflecting storms away from us. So all the activity right now is in the Pacific Northwest. Once we get into tomorrow morning, uh, the rain and the snow will continue migrating east a little bit. This is up and over that ridge. Picture a bubble over the Pacific and the mountain time zone. And that line, the eastern edge of that line, just happens to be right here in Colorado. So we'll see some storm activity sliding up and down along the eastern periphery of the high pressure system. That all starts to move uh, late tonight and early tomorrow so that by the time we get into early Wednesday, we'll start to see some light snow falling. Some increased cloud coverage will be present in the forecast for Wednesday, partly cloudy that day. But again, it's still going to be very nice here on the western slope. Storms aren't really allowed into western Colorado when we have that ridge of high pressure sitting, anchoring over the western third of the U.S. Uh, we had a, a weak system just like this one anticipated this midweek. We had one coming over the weekend. I talked about it Friday night. It delivered about six inches of snow to Winter Park, put two inches up on the Grand Mesa. So surprise, surprise. But if you were outside yesterday, all you saw was sunshine and blue skies over the course of the weekend. So yeah, you won't notice it. I'm not going to notice it. I'm not even going to look for it. Uh, we have another one coming online this upcoming next weekend, but uh, again, High pressure system deflecting it away. Lows into tomorrow morning. Well, many of us are going to get closer to the seasonal average for this time of the year. Still chilly in Gunnison with minus readings on the board. But tomorrow afternoon, the Gunnison Valley should be right at the freezing mark, 32. So everybody's going to slowly improve. Nucla is already going to be in the 50 degree club. Delta is going to be fighting to get into that club. But Delta will be there for the majority or at least the rest of the work week. And uh, Grand Junction, low 40s is the average. We're going to push 10 degrees warmer than that. So fairly mild and quiet week, except for the cloud coverage and maybe a light breeze on Wednesday. Outside of that, we're going to maintain, unfortunately, we're going to maintain these dry conditions. And we do have rain deficits, and the snowpack is slowly dwindling.